Hey there, people. So today I wanted to talk about a topic within the vegan community, and that is the question whether to or whether to not have children. That is the question. And there's been a few voices within the vegan uh, movement saying that people shouldn't have children because of all the resources they'll consume, it would be bad for the environment. You know, the world's already overpopulated. And this is an um, opinion I also heard growing up from environmentalists that weren't even vegan. So it's not as if it is a, an opinion that is solely come from veganism. Um, well, I thought I'd share some of the thoughts I've had on this subject. And broadly, I disagree with the, uh, the idea. I think vegans should be having children. And I'll go into those reasons. Well, the main reason is veganism is probably the most powerful change anyone can make to um, support the environment, to reduce their impact on the environment. Because um, producing um, animals for food, you know, breeding and farming animals is very wasteful of resources. For example, an acre of land can produce uh, approximately 250 pounds of beef but that sounds okay but the um, same acre of land could produce approximately 50,000 pounds of potatoes uh, so you can see there that um, you know it's a very wasteful uh, use of our land and resources to, to be eating meat obviously because you have to grow all the food to feed the animals and then kill the animals and eat the, them whereas you could just eat all the the plants in the first place um now then so the world is approximately 7.6 billion people and we produce currently enough food to feed 9 million but of course a vast amount of that is fed to animals so even though we've got hundreds of thousands of people going hungry there's no need for it it's just you know we are being very wasteful um, with what we're eating so um, I can understand why some vegans would think it's bad to have children and the reasons why I think it would be good for vegans to have children is because then you are producing a new generation of uh, conscious people and they if they stay vegan will help spread veganism now I know some people say well your children might not stay vegan that's true they might not but when you look at the, the um, statistics they have a far higher likelihood of staying vegan if they're raised vegan than someone who was raised on a standard omnivorous diet would of um, switching to a vegan diet and the thing is, when you have someone raised vegan, that's a lifelong vegan. Now, the only way we can have data on lifelong vegans is for vegans to have children. And that will give us data on multi-generational vegans to, um, you know, really show us the adequacies of the diet long term. So, yeah. The only way we can get data on multi-generational veganism is for vegans to have children. And, you know, then we'll get data on the adequacies of, you know, the health, you know, real, you know, get some really good data on, you know, if it's healthy for populations long-term, multi-generational. And hopefully we'll have proof, you know, with successful multi-generational vegans in all walks of life. But um, I can understand if people don't want to have children, no one should have children if they don't want to, just because it might be beneficial. You know, no, children shouldn't be brought into the world if they're not wanted. But it's bad for other people to try and make someone feel guilty for having children, as that is an innate drive within us to uh, carry on our genes and to share that love of family bring a new life into the world is you know that can be the most fulfilling experience for people and here I am I've just um, I'm on the coastal path between Kingsway and Brixham 
and that's the tide's quite low at the moment that looks gorgeous i believe it's um just past ivy cove it's mill bay or i can't remember exactly the name but it looks good i've not seen it so exposed before anyway yes so yeah no one should have children and if you think you can make a better contribution um like for instance the vegan couple they're really helping spread ch veganism they've never wanted children i think that's great you know they are leaving a great legacy with their work online helping people become vegan but there's definitely definitely a, a huge need for vegans to have children because this is this is the main way ideas are spread it's darwinism isn't it um the theory of evolution successful ideas reducing six you know result in successful people who have the resources to have more children those ideas be, are spread and this is obviously happens with physical adapt you know mutations and um, characteristics as well they're spread by having more offspring but it's not just those physical things it's also ideas and ideologies now if you look at certain ideologies they actually consciously try to have more children to spread their ideology now i don't think veganism should necessarily be going down that route but it's um it's certainly something to think about if we want to help spread veganism you do want vegans who want to have children to have those children and why that i would argue is good for the environment is because you've got those lifelong vegans to help spread veganism the, the, they've got a far greater chance of growing into adulthood as a vegan and being a good advocate for veganism and I mean no one knows what the children are going to end up doing they could do anything that could be like some crucial part in bringing us to a higher level of understanding uh, some great invention or discovery so you know everything's related and if you've got that drive and love within you to have children you definitely should as a vegan you are probably the people that are most entitled to have children in this world now um, <coughs> why this is another reason why it's good for the environment is because it if they the chances are that they could be good advocates spread veganism and then <coughs> the more vegans we can vastly reduce our impact on the world and you get to that tipping point quicker where a new idea will take off when you get you know that certain point which really speeds up the process of other people becoming vegan because it, you know, it'll get to the point where it might be you know looked down upon quite badly not being vegan or might make certain uh, lifestyle choices difficult um, it's just when you get to that certain tipping point you've got everything set up for people to switch to veganism a lot easier at the moment there are still obstacles and inconveniences of being vegan but when you get to a threshold of a certain percentage of the world's population it suddenly becomes far easier for everyone else to become be vegan you know the vegans now are pioneers of sorts and yeah it will speed up the process by having vegans raise families the multi-generational vegans of course there are already some and to some extent there's already been many of these families but we haven't had the real numbers to get the data we need so that's those reasons and um yeah so i would say vegans go forth and multiply is my answer to today's question Whew. and always recommend some slows look this is like a natural fruit and they're very bitter of course you get a lot of i've uh, heard a few arguments that whoa that um i've heard a few arguments that the fruit we eat now is so hybridized and sweet that it might have health problems but 
that's a natural fruit and it is very bitter so I guess that gives a bit of weight to that argument but you also get the blackberries around here and they're very sweet and I can't imagine they've really been altered but who knows maybe they are the, the wild blackberries are a result of hybridization but I think on the whole when you look at the data fruit especially berries are good and certainly are gonna make you far healthier than eating any processed food or uh, meat or dairy and eggs long term Whew. yeah so have a good day get out into nature and resonate reproduce if you feel that's your calling in life and don't let other people guilt trip you because the main another good point I wanted to say yeah this world is not infinite yeah we uh, scientifically know that the, um, the sun will burn out so there will be yeah a death to the planet pretty much so humans and humanity might well outlive this planet so although we want to look after this planet it's not an infinite thing and the souls of humanity can go on certainly we might be able to through space travel move to other planets and hopefully we're a higher level of consciousness that will make those planets better places you know um, but also scientifically there's talk of a big crunch where the whole universe will basically run out of energy and uh, die so would that be the end of humanity then well not if you believe we've got immortal souls which is what all the great spiritual teachings lead us to believe so in that case this world is a teaching ground of sorts for the soul learning ground or a play area to some extent um, I guess this is what I would broadly believe but we're here to do good this is the real world our souls are here but those souls are real and the react and they'll move on to a new reality when we leave this reality and that will be affected affected by that next reality will be affected by how we lived here and the choices we made and that's what all the great spiritual teachers have taught in different versions with different different uh, details or specifics Whew. anyway yeah something to think about have a good day peace out